This high quality video is generated with just a text prompt by using this freshly released WAN 2.2 model. WAN 2.2 has just been released and I think it has already set the bar very very high for video models. WAN 2.2 is initially released with three different models, a 5 billion model that can do both text and image to video and two 14 billion models one for text to video and the other for video to video in this video we are going to install this van 2.2 locally i will not only show you how to get it installed step by step on your local system and then we will also check it out on few of the prompts to generate the videos i will also share the workflow uh, which is a comfy ui workflow plus i'm also going to describe what exactly is different in this new van 2.2 model this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel if this is the first time please like the video and subscribe to the channel so before even i describe the architecture let me quickly walk you around as how to get it installed first thing you would need to do you would need to make sure that you have latest version of comfy ui installed even if you installed 24 hours ago the comfy ui install it again because it, it is only supported in the nightly and the recent version and they are so quick that as soon as the models were released i think even before they got uploaded onto the hugging face it was already already there in the comfy ui anyway so installation and upgrade of comfy ui is very uh, simple and straightforward all you need to do just go to my channel search with comfy ui tutorial and then follow this video this will enable you to not only install and upgrade comfy ui from scratch but also will explain what exactly is comfy ui manager and all the basic concepts if you are uh, using this for the first time you can do the in-place upgrade by simply git cloning the repo of comfy ui but i will highly recommend that you just remove that directory of comfy ui just git clone it again and install all the requirements because there are some bugs which i have seen people facing when they try to upgrade so just do the fresh installation by following this video and if you're interested in previous van models just go to my channel and search with van 2.1 and watch these videos now i'm assuming that you already have comfy ui installed once you have that you would need to download three models first there is a text encoder model so just go to this link and i will drop this link in video's description too for 5 billion model you need to download this smaller text encoder text encoder is a model uh, which converts your text prompts into embeddings or numerical representation which is understood by the model so just right click on this save link as go wherever your comfy ui is installed go to models and then go to text encoders and save it there i already have saved the size is 6.7 gig next model which you need is a variational auto encoder or v model v is used to convert the image from latent space to pixel space latent simply means where model works pixel space means where you can see the image so and i have done a very detailed video on latent space just search with latent and you should be able to find it you will you are going to enjoy it so for this just right click on this download save link as and then go to models in comfy ui directory go to v or vae and then save it here and i'm very surprised that normally i have seen v models are smallish but this one is quite big anyway third and final model is actual model which you need to download so this is a diffusion model just go to this link and you can find it in the video's description click on save link as go to models and then in diffusion models and save it there so this is a 5 billion one which is 10 gig in size similarly for 14 billion uh, go to the models hugging face page download all of these models in their respective directories that is the only difference but i will do another video on 14 billion too and once you have that just load your comfy ui workflow and then click on run and there you go so you have this 
video which has been generated with this text prompt which says drone shot of a volcano erupting with a fox walking in on it next up i am giving it another prompt so let me run this i will also show you the prompt and you can see that now it is generating it it is using this sampler and scheduler and let me quickly show you the values so it is using for sampler u and i underscore pc and for scheduler it is using the simple one sampler affects the quality speed and style of output image and scheduler controls how noise is gradually removed from the latent image this is my prompt which i'm using that a vintage steam powered car speeds across a red sand dune at sunset kicking up dust under a sky filled with two moons while ancient ruins peek through the eroded cliffs in the distance i haven't used any seed value or anything but you can tinker with it just watch my other comfy UI video let me also show you the vram consumption as the model is fully loaded so you can see it is consuming over 20 gig of vram some people are saying that you can use it with 8 gig of vram which you can with a quantized version but the quality won't be as uh, good still i believe if you are looking for the best quality maybe go for the 14 billion one the text to image or video uh, image to video one and it is not decoding it should be ready any second and i am letting it run so that you would also see what happened there you go so i will just move it here there you go so this is the one sorry now look at the quality i haven't paused the video i haven't edited it i will let you be the judge now yes there are reflections of moon could be improved but look at the dunes and they are the red sand dunes this is a steam um, powered vehicle which is going towards and look at these rocks look at the whole scenario which depicts it quite nicely and we have set the two moons so it has created two moons and the ancient ruins are also you can see in the background and there are eroded cliffs too so this is simply i think a best model when it comes to text to video this is really good i mean i'm i'm uh speechless here anyway let me now quickly show you image to video so i'm just going to click on workflow open and then i'm just going to go with image to video workflow here so let's go with this uh fennec here for this one again everything is same uh the only thing is that you would just need to provide a, a reference image which i'll show you quickly so this is the reference image which you can use this is from the repo you can use your own too i'm just going on to my uh directly to show you which this is the image which we are going to use and this is from their repo so i'm just going to run it and show you okay so what it, this is saying that i would need to load this properly from the path so i'm just going to let's choose on file to upload this is the one we needed to download now this is better now let me click on run and now it is generating it let's wait for this video to get generated and i will also show you the vram consumption for image to video so it has gone up it is now close to 22 gig of vram for image to video okay let's wait for it to get generated and meanwhile it does that let me go through very very quickly through its architecture and what exactly this model is all about because there are a lot of good things happening so it has built upon its predecessor with key innovations that enhance both performance and efficiency at its core when 2.2 introduces a mixture of expert architecture tailored for video diffusion that employs two specialized agents one for high noise early denoising stages to manage global structure and another for low noise later stages to refine fine details this design enables a total parameter count of 27 billion while maintaining infant sufficiency by activating only 14 billion parameters um, and that is per step and that ensures computational cost remain comparable to dense model the expert switching is guided by signal to noise ratio enabling seamless transition during the denoising process and resulting in 
superior convergence and video quality. WAN 2.2 also uses a substantially expanded training data set which they have shared the detail on the model card and you can also find the link in video's description. I also want to introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Agent. Agent is the world's first multi-agent workflow a workforce desktop application empowering you to build, manage and deploy a custom AI workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks. It is based on Camel AI's open source project and introduces a multi-agent workforce system that dramatically improves productivity through parallel task execution, deep customization and robust privacy safeguard. And you can find the link to their website in video's description. And there you go. Look at the video. So this was the text prompt that, you know, I gave it an image and I told it a cute enemy girl with fennec ears and a fluffy tail walking in a beautiful field. So you can see the field and the girl is walking around. How good is that? Okay, let me now use one of my own image and then a text prompt. And now again, I have selected this image from my local system. This is again an AI altered image of myself. Um, and yes, this is inspired by Pulp Fiction. And then I am asking it to create a, this video. A mysterious man in a tailored suit walking through a rain soaked city at night. Neon lights reflecting on the wet street tension building with every step. Yep, the tension is that you guys are not really subscribing and sharing the video and liking it. So please relieve that tension and do it. Let me create the videos and I will let you market the channel, please. While that creates it, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Mast Compute. If you're looking to rent a GPU or VM on very good prices, you can find the link with a discount coupon of 50% for Mast Compute in video's description. Okay, let's go here. So it is still working. Let's wait for it. And can you believe this? Can you believe this? This is mind blowing and I'm not saying it lightly. You don't even have to hype it up or fluff it. This is simply out of this world. Look at the eyes. Look at my hair. Everything is so, so, you know, good. Look, I'm just showing you the reference image. Did you see the smoke? And the, you know, prompt adherence it really, really good. Very nice. Okay. Let's try one more. In the next one, I'm testing this local image and the prompt which I'm giving it is that a woman in white crop top gracefully dancing under moonlight and all that stuff. But, um, one thing I have just added here is I am if you check it check the my prompt here that it is also holding a sign saying like the video so I'm just testing if it can write text within the video or not let's wait and there you go so this is um, the video I think this is where it, just because maybe of the text it really didn't do well but it has certainly try to convert that image it has kept the hair as such the dance movement are, are not good maybe i need to improve my prompt okay so but this really really looks good maybe i'll just change the prompt a bit i will remove the text one and it has produced something like this i think i need to improve my prompt but look i think uh, and also i think i need to improve my image but all in all, I believe they have done wonderfully well. Of course, as we saw, uh, if we push it to the limit, there are edges where it can improve a lot. But I think Google's view is in bit of a trouble. Very keen to hear your thoughts on this one. Let me know what do you think. I will be making more videos separately on 14 billion for both variants. So stay tuned. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.